Um, just, yeah, there we go. Again, the light is a bit tricky. There it goes. Oh, off it goes. You might still get it. Oh, well done. Well done, Seb. I can hear... Let me try, let me try move forward a little bit. I can hear a squirrel alarm calling. Excuse me, as that, uh, as that bird took off, the squirrel began to alarm call. Now they're still just sorting out some technical issues in the mire. Apparently James unplugged something. <laughs> he was tired and wanted a rest, so he unplugged something. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, j I'm just joking. They should have it sorted out fairly shortly. You are stuck with myself and Sebastian, though. I do apologize. <laughs> now have a look at the. It looks like the wind has blown those feathers a little bit of that brown snake eagle. Yeah, it's turned its face to us. Again, the glare is a bit tricky at the moment. Now we've got that for the list. But always nice to see these birds of prey. Now that's great. Three, four, you know, the the vulture is a scavenger, but I suppose it is a is a, a raptor. I suppose we could put it in that category. So nice to see these different raptors around. A vul white backed vulture, brown snake eagle, and what I think was a tawny eagle and two African hawk eagles. That's nice. Jenny, now, with all this birding, and this goes back to um, Byron's tip of the day that I did for a while. I try and mix it up a little bit. I try to do something different every time I, I come through, and uh, maybe next time I'm here, I'll, I'll do tip of the day again. But 